Today we're going to look at how to create a nav bar and work with image mapping in Dreamweaver. Be sure your root folder is organized this way. At the highest level we have an images folder and the index HTML which in effect is our our home page at this point and today it'll serve as our menu. And all the sub pages are located in their own folders and we have week one, week two, week three and inside those folders you'll notice there's an images folder and an index for that particular page. So we're going to try and build this main menu here and it's going to have uh, 15 uh, clickables. And once we create this, the slices, we bring them into Dreamweaver and we're going to assign some behaviors. And the behaviors we're going to assign is set nav bar image. So basically we're going to flip those images that we sliced in Photoshop from the uh, up to the over image. And that's what we're doing here in this dialog box. We set the up image to the up file that's located in the images folder. And we set the over image uh, that we find in the images folder. There's a little look at some of the HTML there. We can preview that in Safari and see what that's going to look like. Make sure you save your files. And now as we roll over, for example, week number one, we get the over image, which is the lighter image. We roll over week number two, we get the lighter image. And that's what we want. And you notice how week number one flipped back to the original image. And the same thing with week number three. We roll over and we get the lighter image or the over image. Now, what we want to do is take a look at the HTML and put in our wrapper because uh, Photoshop doesn't output a wrapper, it outputs a table. And as you can see, it's off centered. So, what we want to do is use our wrapper technique and uh, wrap this table that Photoshop has created. So we're going to insert the div tag right above where it says image ready slices. Okay. So div ID AP div 1 and then you have the closing tag. Now what we want to do is cut the closing tag and put it at the end of our HTML at the end of the table. So we grab that and we're going to put that at the end here. So just paste that in after the line that says end image ready slices right above the body. And now when we look at our web page it's nicely centered using the wrapper technique we learned. And you can roll over and try those out. Okay, the whole thing works because of the way we've set up our root folder with the index at the top and the sub pages in their own folders. Now what we're going to do is we're going to image map. We're basically drag over an image on the screen and we can use these mapping tools in the lower left side of our property inspector. We'll select a rectangle and we'll just drag that over uh, the graphic it says Digital Applications 2. And then we can set a link. And in this case, it's linking to the parent, which is our home page in this case. And that's why it's important you have the structure, because we're actually inside week number three, and it's linking up to the index at the root of our site. So that's all for today. Have a great day.